Welcome to PALS. It's Prof. Anyangu's Anatomy Lecture Series. If you are new to our channel or you have not subscribed, we will love you to do so now and join this great anatomy family where we make anatomy simple. This is the continuation and the part two of our lecture on the development of the face. We recommend you also look at the part one of this topic where we handled the basic formation of the various parts of the face. Also, it has a part three, and in the part three, we'll be considering various multiple choice questions from various exam boards on the development of the face. So let's go to class. The formation of the face involves fusion of various components. Occasionally, this fusion may be incomplete or may not happen at all. And this will lead to various anomalies. The first anomaly we'll handle is the appearance of a cleft in the upper lip, which is called hair lip. Hair lip can be unilateral, it can be bilateral. Unilateral hair lip is when there is a failure of fusion of maxillary process with medial nasal process on one side. When this failure of fusion happens, on both right and left parts, it leads to bilateral hair lip. We also have another cleft called midline cleft of the upper lip. In this condition, there is a defective development of the lowermost part of the frontonasal process. We'll look at cleft of the lower lip. When the two mandibular processes fail to fuse with each other in the midline, the lower lip shows a defect in the midline. Now, we look at oblique facial cleft. Oblique facial cleft is when there is a non-fusion of the maxillary process with the lateral nasal process. This will give rise to a cleft running from the medial angle of the eye to the mouth. When this happens, the nasal lacrimal duct is also not formed. Next, we'll look at the fusion between the maxillary process and mandibular process. We said in part one of this video, that fusion of these two processes will give rise to the cheek, then there are other structures that arise as a result of this fusion. Now, when these two processes refuse to fuse, it leads to a defect called the transverse facial cleft. And this shows a cleft running from the angle of the mouth to the ear. Sometimes this fusion can occur, but it will not be adequate. When this happens, it will result to a condition known as macrostomia, wide mouth. Some other times, this fusion may be a little too much. And then when the fusion is too much, it results to microstomia, which is small mouth. Now we'll consider bifid nose. Bifid nose is a condition where the nose is separated at the midline. This could be due to bifurcation of the front nasal process and is usually associated with median cleft lip. Another anomaly associated with the formation of the nose is known as proboscis. Proboscis is a congenital tubular nose seen coming out from just below the forehead. We also have a condition where the entire first arch may remain underdeveloped either on one side or both sides. When this happens, it affects the lower eyelid, the maxilla, the mandible, the standard ear. Generally, it affects all the structures that are formed from this first arch. This condition is called mandibulofacial dysostosis or first arch syndrome, or Trichard Collins syndrome. We have anomalies associated with the development of the mandible. The first is retrognatia. This is a case where the mandible may be small compared to the rest of the face. And then this, this results to receding chin. And in other extreme cases, we can have a total failure of the mandible to develop. And this condition is called agnasia, where there is a failure of development of the entire mandible. 
Now we look at hypertellurism. Hypertellurism is a condition where the eyes are widely separated and the nasal bridge is so broad as you can see in the images. This condition usually comes as a result of the presence of excessive tissue in the frontonasal process. The lips may show congenital pits or fistula and sometimes may even be double. Defective fusion of the various components of the palate gives rise to clefts in the palate. So we look at cleft palate. As is noted in the flowchart seen here, we have two types of cleft palates. We have complete cleft palate and then incomplete cleft palate. Complete cleft palate where the cleft actually passes through the entire palate and then incomplete when the cleft did not run through the entire palate. Now, in complete cleft palate, we still have bilateral complete cleft when both clefts are on both sides and then we have unilateral complete cleft when it is on one side. Then for incomplete cleft, we have cleft of the hard and soft palate, cleft of the soft palate and bifid ovula who take bilateral complete cleft palate. This is a failure of fusion of the two secondary palates with each other one and also with the primary palate. This leaves a Y-shaped cleft and the various halves of the palate are separated. This condition is usually accompanied with bilateral cleft of upper lip. In unilateral complete cleft, there is no fusion of one side of the secondary palate with the primary palate, leaving one part of the secondary palate completely separated, as you can see in the illustration. This condition is usually accompanied with unilateral cleft palate of the upper lip. Now the incomplete palate. Cleft of hard and soft palate is when the cleft runs through the entire soft palate and is limited in the hard palate. In cleft of the soft palate, the cleft is limited to the soft palate. And then bifid uvula is a condition where there is the cleft is limited in the uvula part of the soft palate. This is where we stop in this part 2 of the lecture on development of anatomy of the face. In part 3, we will be considering multiple choice questions from various examination boards on development of the face. So, we hope we've been able to make your knowledge of the development of the face a little better. So, we urge you to feel free to let us know how we can serve you better in the comment section. And please don't forget to press the subscribe button if you have not done so already and you will be the first to get all our new videos. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye.